Have you ever wondered how to unlock the full potential of your brain? Imagine a tool that could help you do just that. A tool that can declutter your thoughts, boost your memory, and ignite your creativity. This tool exists, and it's called a mind map. A mind map is not just a diagram. It's a mirror of your thinking, a canvas for your ideas, and a roadmap to your mind's untapped abilities. Now let's meet Alex. Like many of us, Alex struggles with studying and remembering information. He finds it hard to organize his thoughts and often feels overwhelmed with the amount of information he has to process. But things are about to change for Alex. He's about to discover a tool that will revolutionize the way he thinks, learns, and remembers. Join us as we follow Alex's journey in discovering the power of mind maps. Alex, like many of us, was lost in a sea of information. Drowning in facts, figures, and theories, studying felt like a never-ending struggle. The traditional linear notes, while organized, felt rigid and dull. They did little to ignite his creativity or help him remember the content. One day, while surfing the web, Alex stumbled upon something intriguing, the concept of mind maps. Unlike the monotonous, linear notes, mind maps appeared vibrant and dynamic. They seemed to dance on the page, luring Alex into the world of knowledge with their radiant arms. Intrigued, Alex decided to delve deeper. He discovered that a mind map, at its core, is a simple tool. It starts with a central idea, from which branches sprawl out, each representing a related subtopic or thought. The beauty of a mind map, Alex learned, lies in its reflection of our brain's natural workings. Our minds don't think linearly. They think in a myriad of connections, constantly linking new information to existing knowledge. Mind maps mimic this process, creating a visual network of information that is easier to understand, remember, and even enjoy. The idea seemed promising. It offered a new way to harness information, a way that was fluid, flexible, and fun. With newfound hope, Alex decided to experiment with mind mapping. Armed with a blank piece of paper and a colorful array of pens, Alex began his mind mapping journey. With a sense of excitement and curiosity, he set out on this new adventure of learning and discovery. In the heart of the paper, he penned down his central idea. This was the foundation, the guiding light of his mind map. It could be a simple word, a concept, or a problem he was trying to solve. From this central idea, Alex began to draw branches, like radiant beams of the sun, each representing a main thought or subtopic related to the central idea. As these branches grew, they sprouted smaller branches, mirroring the neurons in our brain. These sub-branches represented even more specific thoughts or details about the main ideas. The beauty of this organic growth was that it allowed Alex to see the connections between different thoughts, to see how one idea could lead to another, and another. But Alex didn't stop there. He knew that our brains are not just logical, but also creative and visual. So he picked up his colorful pens and began to add colors and images to his mind map. Each color represented a different type of thought or idea, making it easier for him to distinguish between them. The images, on the other hand, acted as visual cues, helping him remember the details even better. And as he looked at his completed mind map, he could see his thoughts and ideas come alive in a vibrant, colorful, and interconnected web. It was like looking into his own mind, seeing his thoughts unfold in a way he had never seen before. Mind mapping was no longer a foreign concept to Alex. It was a tool, a powerful tool that he could use to explore his mind and unleash his creativity. It was a tool that could help him understand complex concepts, solve difficult problems, and remember important details. It was a tool that could change the way he learned and thought. Little did Alex know, his study habits were about to change forever. As weeks passed, Alex noticed a remarkable improvement in his studies. The once daunting task of memorizing facts and figures transformed into a delightful exploration of interconnected ideas. Each mind map he created was like a vibrant tapestry of knowledge, with every thread representing a concept, a fact, or a figure. And the best part? Each of these threads was linked to another, forming a web of understanding that was easy to navigate and recall. Just like Alex, anyone who has ever used mind maps can attest to their incredible power to boost memory. Instead of trying to cram information into our brains, we're weaving a story, painting a picture. The brain loves this. It's almost like we're tricking it into learning. But it's not just about memory. Mind maps also enhance our understanding. They allow us to see the big picture and how individual pieces of information fit together. It's like finally seeing the forest for the trees. But the benefits of mind maps don't stop there. They also stimulate our creativity. When we're mapping out our thoughts, we're not just passively absorbing information. We're actively engaging with it, questioning it, and exploring different perspectives. This process sparks new ideas, new connections, and new insights. 
It's like lighting a fire in our minds that keeps burning long after we finish studying. And let's not forget the most exciting benefit of all. Mind maps make studying fun. Yes, you heard it right, fun. The process of creating a mind map is like a treasure hunt. Each piece of information is a clue, leading us to a greater understanding. It's a far cry from the tedious, stressful process studying used to be. Instead of dreading study sessions, Alex started looking forward to them. And that, my friends, is the power of mind mapping. A simple tool, yet capable of unleashing the full potential of our brains.